Hello everybody, uh, this is my new house and yes today is the day for your new video and we are doing the multiple choice questions as all of you know. Uh, for the ISE students what we have today is the, uh, you already know that to build a fire you were asking that it was a big one and it was a bit difficult for you all to understand from where the questions may be said. So what I am doing is I have already presented you uh, two separate test papers on to build a fire. This is the third one I am providing you so that you know from whichever portion question can come and in which way they will come. Alright, I will discuss all the options also as you keep on asking me in the comment section about the options. Uh, so the options also will be uh, provided to you and it will be provided in a way that you do understand why these options are incorrect. Alright, you also need to understand the, why the other options are incorrect. So that also will be explained as you ask me in the comment section. I explain you there also as far as possible and in the video itself you will see that the reasons why those options are incorrect is given over there. So I hope there will be no more problem in that. So let's begin. Yeah, I think the ISC as well as the ICAC students, all of you have got your timetable when your exams will be held from 22nd November and 29th November. Uh, you will get this in the website also. I hope you are clear with this that they are trying to hold an offline exam on the OMR sheet where you have to circle the correct answer. Alright, uh, not circle, you have to black, you have to, uh, you know, color it dark, okay, with a pencil. So that is what you have to do and uh, let's begin the preparation, let's continue with our preparation. Okay, without any delay, let's begin. So let's begin with the, uh, the model test paper, multiple choice questions, IAC uh, semester 1. Your questions will be from to build a fire as I already told you. Let's see the first question. Question number one, how many miles, now these questions are very important and I guess you'll be able to, uh, you will have to, you know, try a bit hard or you have to practice and read the chapter uh, for a, a little bit to answer all of these questions. Let's see how many of you get 10 out of 10 over here. There are a few, like, like one or two questions which is a bit difficult. How many miles was Henderson Creek from the fork? Is it 10 miles, 20 miles, is it 15 miles or 12 miles? So this is number one, 10 miles. See, you have nothing uh, but to read this chapter very thoroughly. Otherwise, you will not be able to answer this question. Correct. Coming to question number two. What made the dog superior to the man? What made the dog better than the man? This is very easy. I guess everybody can answer directly. If you see this fourth option instinct because that is the correct one. See, courage is wrong because the, the dog, uh, the man also has courage. It does not make them different. Temperamental difference, yes, there is temperamental difference, but you see, it does not make the dog superior to the man. Wit, no, wit does not come to question over here at all. So it is the instinct that the dog understands from whatever, it does not have knowledge, but it has an instinct which tells it that you see there is danger and he avoids that. All right. Coming to question number three, the man did not have which one of the following? So the man did not have certain equipments, okay, to save him from the cold. Uh, he had moccasins, he had thick socks, he had mittens. What he did not have was the nose strap. The nose strap, remember he was talking about the nose strap. He was thinking that if he had the nose strap like his friend, then he could protect these areas which were, you know, like it was, it was almost burning with the extreme cold outside. Okay. Coming to the next question, question number four. What is the freezing point? Now over here we are talking about Fahrenheit, not Celsius. So Fahrenheit, you have to remember the difference between Fahrenheit, the freezing point of Fahrenheit and the freezing point of uh, the other one. So we have to understand that, remember that and then answer the question. Is it 32 above zero? Is it 10 degrees above, below, above uh, not above below, it will be above zero. Very sorry for this mistake. 10 degrees below zero and 40 degrees above zero. So it is option number one. 32 degrees above zero. This is the correct one. All right. Next, we will come to the fifth question, which is a big, big one. Question five. Why did the man come the roundabout way unlike the other boys? The other boys directly came to that uh, creek. But the, but you see this man took the roundabout way. He did not come uh, through the waterways as the boys have done. He comes in a roundabout way. He comes, he uses the trail to 
uh, to come over here why does it do that to take a look at the possibilities of finding gold in the spring from yuko uh, islands you can be given these type of, uh, of, of options to you know confuse you because really at that time the, the yuko trail was famous because of that gold rush klondike gold rush you must have heard about it uh, they were constantly thinking that there, there could be gold uh, pieces found and they, if they visit that place they will get that so large number of people used to visit it in search of gold next to avoid risks third one to take a look at the possibilities of getting out logs in the spring from henderson islands wrong not henderson island it is yuko island so the fourth option is the correct option so he wanted to take a look at the possibilities of getting out logs in the spring from yuko islands he wanted to check whether there were logs okay in the spring so that he could take those logs and benefit from them all right just for profit sake from the Yuko Islands, not the Henderson Islands. So you have to be very particular about which island we are talking at what time. All right. Question five is done. Coming to question number six. Why was the trail fame? What is the trail? Trail is the like sometimes when we walk through the forest, you will see that there is small lanes. Okay, which is created because maybe cows walk through it, or maybe just people walk through it. No cars or trucks pass through. So why was the trail faint? Why was it that that particular road was very, like it was not even visible properly? Why was it so? Because a sled had passed a few days back, because there was no sled that day, because a foot of snow had fallen since the last sled had passed, and option number four, because no man came that way ever. So the option which is correct is, you see, see this, trail is something that is created and why is it wiped out maybe because of snowfall isn't it because of uh, because of uh, constant snowfall a foot of snow had been created on top of that track uh, on, on that on the trail on the track okay therefore the last sled uh, had passed but the uh, trail is very faint it cannot be seen because there are layers of snow so this will be the correct option because a foot of snow had fallen since the last sled had passed because a sled had passed a few days back, this is obviously incorrect. Few days have passed, so what? There has to be this thing that there has been snowfall uh, every day. That is why it is hidden. Now the track is hidden. All right. Because there was no sled that day, that does not make any point. There was no sled that day, so that no, it is not a matter at all. Because no man came that way ever. Because no people came that way ever. This uh, can be true, but there has to be snowfall to hide that track. Correct. Right? So option three is the best option. Coming to question number 7, what did the man initially use to untie the moccasin strings? What did the man initially use to untie? You remember when he was wet, he could not open the moccasin strings. It was very, very, very hard. So why couldn't, what did he initially use? Like what did he use first? Is it the number fingers? Is it the fingers? Is it the sheath knife? It is the teeth. So it will be the numb fingers. He, yes, uses the sheath knife, but it is not initially. First, he uses the uh, numb fingers when he is unable to open the open the socks even then he tries with his sheath knife he decides to cut it out all right because he cannot uh, utilize his fingers as they were numb he could not feel them he could not use them in any way coming to question number eight so now we have why do you think the man was unsuccessful in opening the moccasin strings why was he unsuccessful why couldn't he do it as he wet himself halfway to the knees correct his body was slowly become numb, but this is also correct. As the strings were like rods of steel, all twisted and knotted violently, this is also correct. See, all the options are correct. He was wet. Okay, because he is wet, his uh, feet was uh, numb. His body was totally numb. And third, he could not open it because it was wet and it immediately turned into ice and it became hard like steel, rods of steel. So, the correct option is all of the above. All of the above options are responsible for not being able to open those moccasin strings. Alright. Coming to the next question, question number 9. What was the dog yearning? That means asking for or waiting for when the man was busy preparing the foundation for the fire. Foundation means when you have to build a fire now on a cold place over ice, you have to place proper platforms of larger pieces of wood so that in direct contact with snow, what will happen to the fire? It will be wiped out. So a foundation is required, just like a foundation of a building. So now when he was preparing that fire, what was the dog doing? Was he waiting for food? Was he waiting for shelter? Was he waiting for the nearby camp? Yes, he was waiting for warmth. He was looking at the fire, isn't it? He looked at the man as a fire provider. 
Let's move to the last question for today. What made the man cough spasmodically? Spasmodically means like constantly you keep on coughing. Why was the man coughing like that? It was, was it because of the burning brimstone? Was it because of the matchsticks? Was it because of the sulfur matches? Was it because of the brimstone? Very easy. How to understand? If something is not burning, if the matchstick is not burning, then you will have no problem. Bring a matchstick in front of your nose, nothing is going to happen. But if you, if you, you know, burn it and then you like if it is burning if that matchstick is burning then it will create uh, you know you will keep on coughing if that gets into your nose okay so it is the burning brimstone things has to burn otherwise it will not give you any trouble so the matchsticks it is not burning sulfur matches it is just the sulfur match is not burning the brimstone it is not burning so the correct option is the burning brimstone bothered him and that is why he was coughing spasmodically all right now, this is all we have for today, the 10 questions. This is for preparation. Although you're asking for more questions, why I bring 10 questions at a time is, you see, you keep practicing every week. Every week you get one, one uh, uh, MCQ uh, model test paper. Be it 10, be it 20, it is coming every week. So you can keep practicing. You are never out of practice. MCQ is all about practice and I hope if you keep practicing with me, you will be able to score a lot of marks. That is my guarantee. After the exam, we will meet and we will share how much you have scored. Maybe after your mark sheet comes. You will know that uh, you have scored well because of these practice papers. Okay, because of whichever, uh, whatever you are practicing from. If you keep practicing MCQ questions, you will know, you know, the basic idea of how the teacher thinks and how he, how he or she makes a question paper. Then you'll be able to identify which one is the better one. Even if there are four questions where, you know, three seems to be uh, like good and uh, one is bad. So you have to choose between the three. So there also you'll be able to choose correctly if you have, if you keep practicing. All right. So that's all. We come to an end with today's uh, topic. And uh, let's see in the next video, we will try to bring the other poems which are important. And uh, you will be well prepared for your exam. Don't worry. You've got your dates. Keep preparing. Keep practicing. Keep studying the topics. And keep asking me your doubts. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed. And that's all. Bye-bye. Hope to meet you in the next video.